Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the next part on the picture. So we've done the hat in first part, the uh, little mask he's wearing in the second part along with the hats, and then we did the little outfit and colored in the little mice and the collar. Now we're going to work down here on his clothing. So I've been debating about all of this. <laughs> we have to fix the little collar here that we're going to do. <clears throat> right now I'm going to leave it blank while I color in his um, shirt and his cape that he has here. So we're going to go ahead and start down here on this cape because <clears throat> I'm going to do that kind of in red colors. Sorry about my throat. For some reason I thought I had enough tea this morning, but... Okay, so the colors that um, I picked out are going to be in the light fast plus one that's in the luminance. <clears throat> okay, so we have um, Raisin, Merlot, Autumn Brown, and then the Anthrodone uh, Carmine that comes in the um, portrait set that we've used up uh, up in the top and on the beads and stuff. So I'm kind of bringing a couple of those red tones down to this corner so it gives me my three uh, triangle area. So we're going to do the cape here. At least I'm going to try to make it look like a <laughs> cape. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to go in with um, the darkest color. Ooh, how about the medium dark color? Which one is the medium dark color? I have to... That is really dark. Well, it's all going to be kind of dark. Okay, Merlot we're going to use first. <clears throat> and we're going to kind of go down just where the lines and shadows are. I'm going to leave these areas alone. <laughs> I'm leaving all the trim for last. So I'm going to feather this out a little bit, both sides. Making it as deep as I can in the crease. And then up at the top here, we want to darken that too. Oops, let's keep in lines here. Just kind of going up where the gray is. I could probably get you down a lot closer to that. Hold on a minute. Okay. Gonna get it all the way in that corner. Okay, if we go into that, it's just a shadow of the fold here. here too. Alright, <clears throat> let me bring in a little of the um, 
anthraquinone carmine here. <laughs> and put a little of that in here. I'm going to remember whatever I make this, it's going to glow. So I want this kind of light. I may add some yellow in there a little later. Okay, now we're going to bring in uh, some raisin. It's a nice dark color. I want this kind of to be a brown red. And then we're going to bring in some autumn brown. I'm going to put a little pressure here in the deep corner and then just pull it out and blend it. And then before we do anything else, I'm going to get out that nasty little eraser. <laughs> and erase some of that work that we did in those little spots. just so we can see them a little better. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the um, blender here. And we're just gonna blend those colors together. There's one up here or not. Probably is. So we'll avoid that area. Try to avoid touching his glove also. nicer okay and we're gonna take a little white and we're just gonna kind of blend it right in here and that's a prisma white ok 
kind of want to keep that the highlight up there on the curve of his fabric here. There we go. I'll we'll just bring back in the. Oh, we'll go with the raisin. Bring in that autumn brown again. Gonna go under that trim. It's gonna be kind of like a gold trim that is raised up so it's going to have a little shadow so we might as well give it hit it to it now while we're doing this there. and we'll just blend that back into the white just soft little blend And we'll bring in a little of the Merlot. Keep that nice and dark in there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take it down here on the bottom and just kind of bring it up. nice dark reddish brown then we are going to do his um, clothing here I'm gonna bring it up a little bit so you don't have to look so close to that I wanted to do it in kind of a blue tone like the little guy here if I can remember what colors I used in that they should still be here on my desk and I'm going to Hopefully pick up the right ones. <laughs> Don't know. Picking up all the blue ones and we'll see. Well, that is not blue. You must be blue. Yes, you're dark indigo. All right. So these are all my blue colors that I have still on my desk, which are somewhere on that paper. So I did these in just a couple colors of blue, but the hats are done in multicolor blue with a purple in it. I don't think this one has purple in it. So I'm going to bring all those colors down, and I also have a gray in here, just in case I need shadowing, which, I mean, we've got a lot of shadows here. So we have the indigo, dark indigo. These are all luminance colors here. Anthrodone blue, the blue D Nimes, which is the purplish color, the dark indigo, and um, ultramarine, which has no A in it, and I keep pronouncing it with an A. And then I have the uh, cool crowd, uh, cloud gray, which is the Derwent Light Soft foreshadowing. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the lightest blue, which is your ultra marine, which has no A. And I'm going to put 
put it down here because our lightest color if we're going to have a glow on that this will have to be light here and light in this area Of course, down here a little bit. Sorry, there we go. Lapping out color. Put a little blue here. And then on the other side, put a little light blue in here. We have this leaf here. Putting in some creases in the clothing here. And it goes all the way up. Maybe I'll curve that down a little. Fit the other side. Can only go up as high as where I have the ruffle coming down. Okay, maybe a ruffle coming up here. He's got his arms folded, so we might have one down here. Can come up. And then here we have kind of a crease coming down here anyway. So we'll make one there and one about here. This here is not going to have much in the way of creasing, but if we're going to do it, we're going to kind of go across this way. Something in that line. Okay, so basically that's his blue shirt. <laughs> and we're going to go in with the anthrodome blue. Darken up those lines a little bit.
here we have to color inside these because this is open work lace. At least I'm going to make it that way. Way up here into his under his collar and his tie. I can see that other tie comes across there somewhere. Okay, to mimic the other side, we're going to color in here. We're going to make an area here to color into. And here. And then you won't see it until we get up here. It's like a little lace and a bigger lace, a little lace, bigger lace, little lace with holes in them. So we'll just color in those areas there. And then darken this area here. see all this. That was part of his sword. Shadows. Clothing's always the <laughs> longest part. And faces. I haven't gotten to his face yet. <laughs> Most of it's covered though, so I'm lucky. <laughs> bring in the uh, dark indigo. We're going to darken this corner up. I'm going to get you down a little closer. want to avoid that if I can. And I think that is where the ruffle collar ends. I 
guess we'll have to do this little guy over here. He's kind of in the way. I'll have to do his little glove. No avoiding him. <laughs> he's there. <laughs> Okay, and then we're just going to bring that color down over his shoulder, making that the darkest we can. Okay, go in here and bring some of that down. really dark in here. And then just blend it down. Still want to keep this kind of area here light, so I'm not going to bring too much of that down in there. Just work our way over on this side. Just kind of accent those little things I drew in there. And then I'm going to make that dark coming down. And then the same on this sleeve is we're going to darken it a lot up here on the top. And then bring some of that down and lighten our touch coming down. Not to get the fishy. <laughs> Trying to get the darkest I can in this area here. And we'll bring that blending into this.
Okay, some of that lightest blue again in here. This area down here. Okay. So bring in the blender, get rid of all the red that is on the tip. And then we'll just blend all that together. colored in there so <laughs> there's nothing there to blend. I'm just knocking down the tooth basically is getting the pencil into the tooth and then we have to do a whole another layer on top of all this to get it the right color. go back in with um, the lightest color, the ultramarine, which isn't with an A. <laughs> get in all the nooks and crannies we didn't get before. This is where I don't think I colored before. I'll erase the part that I colored on there.
Okay, then we bring in some white. This is the prism of white. Okay, this always takes the longest time for me, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to go back in, i got to leave that. There's a string that comes down. Just going over a little bit of that white. So again, going in and darkening underneath these areas here. That underneath. <laughs> so I draw around them. And then just go in here and blend that color out a little. So it just pushes that under there. I know I have a little blue on there, but that's okay. Just making it as dark as I can next to all that. We'll do the same thing on this side. Draw around it. And then blend that in.
I'm sorry, I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here. There's something there. I don't want to color that. So yeah, as I played with it for about an hour and a half, but you kind of get the gist of the um, blue here. I'll go back in with some of the, uh, either the blender, pull some of that out, blend it in just a bit better. And just play with it until you like it. I'll probably play with it a little bit more, but we need to move on to other parts. I want this to be a little bluer, so... Bring in a little more blue. Anyway, so we're going to make that blue top. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is, but it's getting pretty long. And I'm not talking, I'm just coloring. Just want that a little bluer. Just putting that over the, the dark blue. Anyway, I'm going to stop doing that, <clears throat> but it needs to be colored. Let's see, what else can I do here that doesn't touch the trim? <laughs> Quit playing with his shirt. Okay, um... Well, his glove's just going to be colored like this one, just in black. Doesn't really need to be there, but it's here, so we have to color it. And 
his sleeve can be done in the same color as this little guy. He's holding onto his whisker. Um, let's see. Brought the red down. We've got the red here, 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 here. We've got the dark black with the blues in it here and here and in there. So that's good. We don't have enough of this color. That can be kind of considered that color. So we're going to use um, that color that I did his mask in. And I will have to look up those colors. So hold on a minute. Okay, I got out all the colors that I did the mask in. And I mean, boing, there's a lot of them. I was just going to do the um, little gold on the to call that the the handle I'm gonna call it I don't know it's got a name but <laughs> this is uh, all Derwent light fast and if you look at um, the mask video it lists all the colors for just the mask so I'm gonna put the golden Sun kind of in the highlighted areas here We are not going to cut the color of the cat. The cats are all going to be done at the same time. Then we're going to go in with um, flame. Which adds a nice pretty color there. Okay, then we're going to go in with Ruby Earth. Now this doesn't have as much room as the mask does, so just going to kind of put the main colors on it. And then down here, darken that a little bit. Okay, then we're going to go in with a Venetian Red. Well, I guess we have to do this handle too, so I might as well get it same colors as I did the other one. This one is uh, flame. Just add a little bit more of that around here. Okay, and then the um, sun, the uh, golden sun. Then we have gold. <laughs> Just going to go over every color that we put down. We have some yellow ochre. We 
the yellow ochre I picked up is in luminance. Because I didn't get it out with the other one. I had one on my desk. So there we go. Then we're going to bring in chocolate. Darken these areas a little bit. some Persian orange. greens we have the lichen and the olive earth and I think I'll go in with the olive earth here we haven't used yet. Yeah, out of all the colors I haven't used. <laughs> Natural brown. We'll bring some of that in too. Pretty good. We'll bring in the blender here. Take out all the blue we have on it. Attempt to take off all the blue we have on it. <laughs> it's a lot of blue. I think I'll sharpen it. I can't get all the blue off of the tip. I use a hand sharpener for this one because I don't want to get put it in my cranking uh, sharpener gums up the gears. There, that's most of the blue. Except for that one little tip. There we go. So we're just gonna run all those colors together. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to have to call it because I'm pretty sure this is really long. So this uh, is going to be gold. That the sword themselves are going to be um, silver bladed. I can do his in gold. And I guess this is a gold one over here too. So um, 
we'll do all the trim and the blades kitty in the next video <laughs> I haven't done him yet I was thinking I might do him a gray kitty gray and white but I'm not sure yet and then I have to do the background so that'll be in the next video I hope you guys are enjoying I really am having fun with this picture so it'll get done eventually <laughs> So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.